Hi, welcome back to another weekly vlog or welcome if you are new. I'm so happy to have you here. And honestly, I'm so excited to be filming a weekly vlog. I feel like it's been a long time since we've actually just sat down to chat and hang out for a little bit. We are out and about today because I took a personal day off of work. Cause basically what happened, long story short, is I had a bunch of days to use up and I completely forgot about them. So I just used them all up at the last moment because they renew at the end of this month. So I was like, might as well use them up, right? So I got myself a little iced coffee, just at McDonald's, French vanilla, iced vanilla coffee. I've been kind of feeling it a little bit. I don't know what's going on. And we are currently in the parking lot of Barnes and Noble because I have finished every fiction book pretty much I have in my apartment. And while I really enjoy reading a nonfiction book every once in a while or the Bible, of course, I just like to have a little fiction sprinkled in. So I'm going to go pick out a few books, probably two, just so I'm kind of set for a little bit. After that, I think I'm going to run to just the Kohl's Sephora because I want literally one little itty bitty thing. And then I think I'm going to run to Target for some ingredients for these like cinnamon toast crunch bars that I saw on Instagram and they look so good. And I feel like Hunter and I would really love them and devour them. But honestly, I am happy to be out. I'm happy to be kind of spoiling myself a little bit with a book and something from Sephora because I have a crack in my windshield. Yes, I'm driving with it. I was extremely convinced initially that I just could not drive anywhere with that in there. I thought it was too dangerous. I thought it would get worse. I thought my whole windshield could shatter. Like, I don't know. I'm just a baby. I haven't had to deal with anything like this at all before. So I was just freaked out. I didn't know what my driving capabilities were like, but my mom has convinced me that it's fine. I can drive with it. The likelihood of the crack getting worse is very slim, but it's a pretty hefty crack. She's pretty girthy. I guess girthy isn't the right word. It's more like, it's more of a lengthy crack. The painful thing is I know exactly when it happened, but I didn't realize that it caused that until like the morning after, because I was going home kind of around like 8 30 p.m ish so it was pretty dark and i was driving on this kind of back country road to get back to my apartment and i heard what sounded like a rock hitting my windshield which happens you know every once in a while and it's always fine it never damages it to this extent it's usually just like oh a rock hit my car that's great so i just assumed that's what it was again because i heard it, it sounded like a rock just hit me and i was like it's probably fine no no it was not so i've been working with insurance and they could have had the glass fixed today and i would have been driving around with a fully intact perfect windshield but of course there's a chip on my hood as well probably from the same incident so we're getting that fixed as well so we're gonna have to go to a place that does both and that's going to take a little bit longer and it's just it's a whole thing anyways i've been talking long enough but that's basically what has been happening this week so i need this i need this retail therapy right now let's go pick out some books okay All right, so my Barnes and Noble and Sephora trips are now done. I thought I'd do a quick little haul of everything I got. It's not very much, but to me, it's just enough. Just now at Sephora, you guys saw I just got one little item. I've been really into lip gloss lately. I feel like it just adds so much to my face. And believe it or not, I don't have just a clear basic lip gloss to wear like every day. So I got Glass Slipper by Fenty Beauty. These are just her regular lip gloss formula, not the heat plumping ones. I know it's a little crazy that I went to Sephora for a literal clear lip gloss, but this one has really good reviews. And if this gives me that shiny, juicy lip look, then I don't care, okay? She's very cute. Her good things, we're going to see. And then from Barnes & Noble, I got two books. The first one is The Silent Patient. This one you've probably seen. This one's been talked about a lot recently. It's a thriller or a psychological thriller. And then I got The Fine Print. This is part of the like Dreamland Billionaires series. I've heard really good things about this series as well. I wanted to get a different book, Park Avenue Summer it's called, but I couldn't find it. So I'll just order it online. And in the meantime, I'll read those two. All right, now that that is done, that was really nice. I got to just kind of browse books. I browsed some makeup and some fragrance in Sephora. It was just very chill. I just got to do some of those things that I don't usually get to do when I'm with somebody. I just really got to take my time. We're gonna do that quick Target run just for the ingredients of those Cinnamon Toast Crunch bars. And then I'm gonna head home. All right, let's make this Cinnamon Toast Crunch dessert. If you hear talking in the background, Hunter's gaming. Just a regular weekday night around here. So I'm very used to it. Hopefully you can get used to it as well. The recipe I found uses a nine by 13 inch pan. 
this is what we got. So I'm going to half the recipe, have the recipe. So it's going to make a little less, so it'll hopefully fill this a little bit better. All right. So first I need to prep this with parchment paper and cooking spray, and then I have to start doing the little mixture situation on the stove. Not me realizing I don't have parchment paper. Is that still okay? I think it's gonna have to be okay. This is the finished product. I'm just gonna leave this out to cool for a little bit and then Hunter and I will enjoy these later. Good morning. It's Friday today and I'm taking my final personal day before they all expire and then renew at the beginning of July. And today I'm actually having a little girl's day with my mom because she has every other Friday off during the summer because she's been at her company so long. So she kind of has one of those arrangements, which is really nice. So we planned to do some fun things today. I don't really know what we're gonna do yet. We kind of were trying to brainstorm last night. By the way, Hunter and I tried those Cinnamon Toast Crunch Rice Krispie bars last night and they were good. However, I will say that I was expecting them to be very cinnamon-y, like very cinnamon forward. And honestly, I think the marshmallow kind of overpowered everything and made it so that there was just like a touch of cinnamon. So they kind of ended up being kind of just slightly above what a normal Rice Krispie treat tastes like. So I feel like I needed like one more cinnamon element to add to maybe make it a little more cinnamony, but they were good. If you want something a little different, something a little exciting to spice up your baking life, I would give them a try. They were really easy. Anyways, I think that's all I have to share right now. I'm gonna finish getting ready because my mom's going to be picking me up pretty soon and I'll keep you updated. <laughs> Hunter and I just got back from the grocery store. We just ate a frozen pizza for dinner. Very simple. And I never actually showed what I all got from that little girl's day with my mom because we did a lot of shopping. As you saw, we went to DSW because my mom has been needing some new pairs of shoes because she's been accumulating pairs over the years. But then when she goes to wear them, they break because they're older. So she needs some new, more reliable shoes. Unfortunately, she didn't have any luck there. She didn't see anything she really loved, but I, did. I saw these and here is the style info if any of you are interested, but it's basically got a very minimal small kind of wedge type of shape to it. And then this kind of ribbed fabric for the band over top. And I've been looking for a pair of shoes like these for a while that are just very versatile and easy to wear with a variety of different outfits, whether they're more formal or more casual or for a day in the office. I just feel like these are gonna be really good as a go-to shoe that will go with like everything. Because my mom had no luck at DSW, we then went to check Marshalls and my mom had a lot more luck there. She found some really, really cute styles and I found two more as well. The first ones are very similar to the black ones I just showed you. Here is that style info. Again, very similar vibe with that kind of ribbed fabric, but instead of being more of like a wedge, it's kind of a chunkier heel. And this brown color is stunning. I'm so excited for these. These are going to be great to wear everywhere. Once again, like I feel like the style is so versatile and easy to pull off in a variety of settings, which is why I got them. Actually, my mom got them for me, which I was not expecting at all, but I'm so thankful. So I love you, mom. Thank you for these shoes. And then my mom saw a pair of these in her size. And then we went over to my size to look and they had the same ones in my size. So we decided we had to twin. They're just a really cute little basic black slide with the logo all over the band. And they are Velcro, so they are adjustable, which is nice. They just give me like kind of bougie mom vibes. And I could just see myself wearing these again with a variety of outfits for just kind of a step up from a normal slide. So I'm really excited to wear all of those. And then the only other thing that I have from that shopping trip is this little like Stanley dupe. My mom and I each got one of these. I got one in this kind of beige cream color with a little bit of cheetah detailing, which is so cute. And I'm loving this. It is by the brand Hydro Peak. It is a 40 ounce tumbler and I've been 
loving it. Like for some reason, whenever I put anything in these, I can drink it at like 10 times the speed I would drink it out of its normal packaging. I don't know what it is. I think it's the straw, um, but this is just so easy, especially right now. I'm kind of coming down with something I think, which literally sucks because I was just sick when I went to that business conference in Knoxville and now I'm getting something again. But while I've been feeling a little under the weather, this has been so nice to have at my bedside to just like grab and then hold in bed with me. It's just been a vibe. But yeah, I don't know. I've just been having a little bit of sore throat, drainage, mostly just been waking up with a little bit of scratchiness, a little bit of soreness. So I don't know what's going on. Hunter also has it. And then my dad said he had it as well. We all kind of got it at the same time. So I don't know if something's going around or what's happening, but we'll live, we'll live. Ooh, that was a good catch. My bad. Bad bad toss. She went for it. Here comes Joe. He's like, what did she get? Does he eat a full one or just a half? He does. Will you eat a whole? <laughs> He's so gentle with it. Let's do a take two. Ready? Much better. I had to kill three spiders today in my office. That is easily an all-time record and I'm sure it will stay that way. Not so fun. Like obviously I didn't have to kill them, but like I don't want them running around. I don't want them dropping from the ceiling onto my head. Anyways, it is about 12 30 right now. I did leave my office because there was nobody around and I don't really like to be on my floor alone. I just, it's kind of weird and it's definitely our more chill season right now. So I'm just kind of enjoying the remote work possibility while I can. So I'm going to finish the rest of the day remotely from home. Anyways, I'm at Target right now. I just have a few things I need to grab. Hunter and I want to have quesadillas tonight because we bought a green pepper and an onion and we want to make sure we use it up because otherwise it will just sit and rot. So we literally have to plan meals in order to use all of our vegetables and things. Any produce, really, that's how we have to kind of roll or they'll get neglected. We only have one tortilla left, which is not going to be enough. So I'm going to pick up some tortillas. We're out of melatonin, which I really like. I feel like it helps me a lot, but it especially helps Hunter. Like I feel like Hunter, it's part of his nightly routine. So I'm gonna pick some of that up. And then as some of you may know, I've been going to church more. Before I was never really a regular church goer. I was very inconsistent with it. I just didn't prioritize it. Now I'm prioritizing it. And last week, the sermon was so good. And it was so funny because I had just been talking about kind of what the pastor was covering. And you know, it was like, God just was like, here, there you go. You know what I mean? It's like those moments where God just speaks to you through a sermon, through a song, through somebody else, and you just know that it's from him. Those are the most magical things. I just, I absolutely, absolutely love when that stuff happens. And I'm starting to really see it and hear him. And that was one of my goals a few months ago was to actually hear the Lord. And I've been doing a lot better with my listening. Obviously there's still, you know, progress to be made, but I really want to get a little like prayer journal or like notebook to take notes for sermons and um, just thoughts and things like that. And I saw one here when I was filming my summer glow up video. I was looking at it in the vlog. There's a video of me literally looking at it open, but I didn't get it. And now I think I'm going to try and find it and pick it up this time. This, by the way, this Hydra Peak tumbler, I have been loving. And I know I said that earlier, but I've been seriously in love in love. You need one of these. It doesn't have to be a Stanley. It can be a dupe like mine, but it helps me hit my water goal every single day. I've been drinking way more water lately. I'm on a journey, not only to drink more water, but I need to get healthy again. And I think I'm going to do like a whole 
video on that because I am changing a lot of my habits and I think they're going to make a big, big difference. But I'm starting to ramble and my car is getting warm. So I need to go in and get the stuff that I came for. Thank you. Right, have a nice day. You too. Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday morning. I just woke up and did my skincare, and I figured maybe we could do a little Bible study. I finally filled out a little bit of this new notebook I picked up yesterday. And last night during my Bible study, I pretty much just filled it with the contents of the sermon that I was talking about that I listened to last Sunday. I had some notes from the sermon in my notes app on my phone that I just kind of jotted down quickly from memory after the church service. And so I broke it down a little bit better here and I thought I would just share with you all if you're interested before I get started with my work day. So please enjoy the view of my disorganized shoe rack and let's do a little Bible study, a little faith moment. Now I told you guys yesterday that this sermon, the timing of it was just like, it was God's timing, like he was just speaking through the pastor to me because the sermon really affirmed something that I had been struggling with and praying about just days earlier. And that was the importance of trusting the Lord rather than myself to transform my heart in order to accomplish my goals, which are my health goals. Working a full-time office job where I'm sitting at a desk all day, I'm very inactive. I'm working eight hours a day, basically sitting and also just living with me and a partner and not having, you know, home cooked meals that aren't super processed all the time anymore, I think has really affected me and my mindset and my health and my productivity and my activity. I'm not moving my body as consistently and I'm not always eating what I should be eating. So I've just been trying to implement these strict methods, like very logical methods. And I'll stick to them for like a week, maybe two weeks, and then I just falter. I completely just lose it and revert back to my old habits again. And that was even something that the pastor said, is that we try to take all this action on our own when really we need to count on the Lord to internally transform us before that external transformation can occur. And so trying harder to implement change on our own without seeking the Lord only creates temporary change. Some scripture he used was from Matthew chapter 23 verses 25 through 26. For you clean the outside of the cup and the plate, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. First, clean the inside of the cup and the plate, that the outside may also be clean. And then there were two other verses that the pastor referenced in this sermon. He only has a 15 minute time slot at the church that I go to because it is only an hour service, but he referenced Titus, I think. I've never ever heard anybody say that name. But Titus chapter two, verses 11 through 14, this scripture says, for the grace of God has appeared bringing salvation for all people, training us to renounce ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in the present age. And the reason that the pastor brought this up is because there are so many habits we have that we don't realize are to blame for us not being able to reach the goals that we have for ourselves. So for instance, a goal might be to have a healthier relationship with your partner and maybe you're hindering that by scrolling on your phone whenever you finally have you know alone time with your partner to talk and catch up and spend quality time with one another you might not realize that that might be hindering your relationship but it is because you're not living a self-controlled godly life by scrolling on tiktok and the same goes for my situation with wanting to eat, be, act healthier. Sitting on my butt and not being active is not living an upright, godly life. Gluttony and eating when I'm not hungry, which is something I have been very guilty of in the past, is not self-controlled. It is not godly. It is of sinful nature and it is not honoring God. And to me, that point just kind of hit home for me a little bit in a way because I was like, oh wow, I didn't really realize like I know this sounds like an obvious thing but for me I didn't fully wrap my head around the fact that 
eating when I'm not hungry is not honoring God, you know, and I do it all the time, or at least I did before I heard this sermon. And this just really clicked in my brain for some reason. I can't really explain it, but it just, something clicked. So maybe if you're struggling with the same thing I'm struggling with, that might click for you too. And then there is one more scripture I'd like to quote that the pastor quoted, and that is from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 7 through 10. And this says, this is a pretty long one, but I'm going to probably read all of it because it's just, it's really good to me. So to keep me from becoming conceited because of the surpassing greatness of the revelations, a thorn was given me in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to harass me, to keep me from becoming conceited. Three times I pleaded with the Lord about this and that it should leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And my attempted paraphrase for this was that the Lord's power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, we should be accepting of our weaknesses. Not too accepting, but we should, for the time, be accepting of our weaknesses so that the power of Christ may strengthen us. Just embrace where you're at. As long as you're trying, as long as you're trying to kind of meet God where he's meeting you a little bit, he will show you grace and he will work wonders for you. So that is all I have written down in here. That was all of the main content of that sermon. And I just really wanted to share it because I thought it was just perfect for what I'm going through and you know, it might help some of you. Maybe some of you are going through something similar. Maybe you are trying to, I'm sure a lot of people are trying to make a change in their lives right now. And it's not easy. Change is never, ever easy, but it becomes a lot easier when you count on God to help you through it. How cute. <laughs> Y'all, it has been a morning and a half, okay? The traffic is horrendous. It's literally horrendous. There's so much construction going on down here this morning. It's to the point where it's going down to like two or one lane. And for the area I'm driving in, that is just a no, no, no. It's raining and I don't have my umbrella. It's just not panning out to be the day I expected it to be. I woke up early. Obviously, I don't have anything on my face right now. Usually, I like to be made up for work. But I was like, you know what? I just need to get out the door. I want to get there nice and early so I can leave earlier because I have some things to do later today. But the morning so far, the whole commute, the whole situation has been horrendous so far. So I feel like something in me is telling me like, just take it slow a little bit. So I'm currently at one of my favorite little cafes kind of near my work. And I think I'm going to start my day here. Will I make it into the office? I don't know. Definitely if my boss needs something, but for now I'm thinking this is just not the vibe. If it stops raining, if something's needed, maybe, but I... so yeah, I'm just going to start the day here. Sorry if you can hear the rain literally pouring onto my windshield. But anyways, I think I'm just going to end off this vlog right here before I go inside. I hope you all enjoyed. I love weekly vlogs. Like I just, there's something about them that I just love. I feel like I get to just sit down, be myself, talk to you, have a conversation, keep you updated on my life. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, if you enjoy me, if you want to join my little family. I hope you're doing amazing right now. I hope you're having an amazing day, week, month, all of the above, and I'll see you soon.